We are in one of the settlements outside of Kedumin, another community that is uh, surrounded by another Arab communities. Shalom. Shalom. Nice to meet you. My name is Ezri Tubi. I'm a villager from here. I live here about 13 years. And um, first thing I want to say is that I'm not meeting you guys before you sing me a song because when I called him, when I called Shosh, Shosh on the phone, I heard singing in the back. I was like, "Who's that?" And he said, "Well, we're singing." So I, so I was I I was born in a, in a city in Atania, an urban guy. I didn't even know this these places exist. I I might have heard the name Judea and Samaria, but it didn't say anything to me. It was to me the most important thing was Tel Aviv and um, you know the, 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 the discotheques and, and stuff like that when I was a kid. And um, so I went with my parents. My English came from the fact that I've been in Canada with my parents for four years. Uh, they were emissaries and they were teachers and then that's how I dropped in Canada without knowing a word and I had to start speaking but the, the best thing I uh, did receive from that period of time is the fact that I lost my Israeli accent. <laughs> Good for you. Yes. <laughs> they asked Sorry, me Sean. if I'm in from Germany. <laughs> oh, no. So you, now you understand why it's such a present. And um, I, I did the army three years of service, combat soldier. After the army, like uh, almost everyone, I earned some money, packed a bag, and went to... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but uh, but usually they, uh, I look a bit different. The guys here, they look, they don't look so, so normal. They but... look Jewish. You look good. Jaffe, Jaffe note. Okay, uh, but I can't show you a picture from two years ago where, uh, where I looked uh, very changed. Jewish. Okay? Of course, I have my mission to do, and mm -hmm. I'm doing good, it. Good, good, you are doing. Okay, okay, good, okay. good. I'll mission. tell you about my mission because it's very important, also for for um, for me and for you guys to know. Uh, so, um, in in um, in the social uh, uh, thing, for example, uh, this is something that is. Uh, um, unprecedented in anywhere in Israel. Um, we have, for example, three foster families here, um, which have uh, Ethiopian kids. So one family has three, another has uh, another three, and another has two. Three foster families in 240 family in, in, in 240 families, that's, that's a number uh, unfounded anywhere. How do you become a foster family? Well, I assume you have to um, uh, get in touch with uh, with with, um, with the Ministry of um, of Education or whoever takes care of that. You know, it's a long procedure. We'd like to become a foster well, family. Uh, to, uh, that we will adopt you. Yeah. Good. We are ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, and in the last uh, in the last yes. two years, yes. six people here donated their kidney to people they didn't know. Six people, you know, it, 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 I feel also embarrassed. One, that I had only five kids, and the second is that I have two kidneys. You know, like, because, you know, you're embarrassed. How many kidneys do you have? Two. <laughs> so six people out of, uh, I mean, nobody's coming near my kidney. I don't have this such, such big soul like, like these people. But six, one, um, two out of the six were a couple. Wow. A man and wife in the same week. Wow. In the same week, they, and they don't people. show it. In uh, the uh, yes, they don't want to. People in Tel Aviv don't know what kind of good people we have here. Yeah. And, and they donate it to p people they don't know. It's not like, you know, only family and stuff like that. So, um, this is about um, one more thing about, uh, about Itza is that um, ideologically we do not have a fence surrounding us. 
um, maybe this is something that um, adds to our perception as radicals, but uh, this was brought to a vote to everyone and most people voted not to put a fence because putting a fence is much more than only security, physical security. It's actually a, a saying something, saying something that I'm scared, I'm afraid. This is where I am and uh, no we're not, we're, we're back home. And, and, and for the good sake of the Arabs and other human beings, we should be here. It's not against, it's for the sake, because if, if you find, if you can find the only sane and normal place in the Middle East that can allow others to live a normal life, it's only Israel. Amen. It's mm -hmm. only Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, and, the fa and this is part of Israel, and, 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 and even, you know, from here we should spread uh, uh, all the, the, the good and, and, and the, the benefits <coughs> that we want to spread to, to the whole world. But from here, mm -hmm. you have to know your identities before you can give someone. You can't give someone anything before you know who you are. Amen. Because it'll, it, you'll finish. If you don't know who you are, you'll be exhausted in, in you know, in a minute. So um, this is about this place, a very special place.